In this video we'll briefly discuss, almost all you need to know about Pregoblin. How it works, what it's used for, side effects and precautions. Pregoblin, marketed under the brand name Lyrica, is a medication in the gabapentinoid class. It has anticonvulsant, anxiolytic, and analgesic properties. It works by binding to alpha-2 delta subunit, of the voltage-dependent calcium channel in the CNS, leading to inhibition of the excitatory neurotransmitters. Pregoblin is mainly used as an adjunct therapy for partial seizures, that means it's given to people who aren't receiving adequate benefit, from their existing medications. It is effective for certain kinds of neuropathic pain, including post-herpetic neuralgia, diabetic neuropathy, and central neuropathic pain. It also appears effective at improving pain and sleep in fibromyalgia, with a potentially less reliable or significant impact on fatigue. And it can be used in the management of anxiety disorders. The most common side effects associated with pregoblin are, drowsiness and dizziness. It can also cause ataxia, peripheral edema, dry mouth, fatigue, and blurred vision. And a minority of patients will experience a problematic level of weight gain. It may also cause some recreational effects like euphoria, slant dissociation, and mental stimulation. Pregoblin can potentiate the effects of opioids, alcohol, and benzodiazepines. Only negligible metabolism exists and the drug is eliminated via the renal system. Impaired renal function has been associated with an increased risk of adverse effects. So dose should be adjusted in renal impairment. Pregoblin may be habit-forming. Research in the medical community indicates that lyrical withdrawal has not been well documented, but if you stop taking it without gradually reducing the dosage, you may experience withdrawal symptoms, such as trouble falling asleep or staying asleep anxiety, abnormally rapid heart rate, sweating, nausea, aggression, headaches and diarrhea. So if you want to stop the drug for any reason, you should contact your health care provider. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to make sure you won't miss any of the upcoming videos.